So, <laughs> so we're going to continue on with making this ship. I'm liking it. It's coming together quite nice. Um, I even created a custom texture for this ship. Uh, obviously, it looks very bland here, but I went ahead and created this. Just come and wait for material mode. Turned out quite nice. So I will put this on. I will put this. I'll make this available for the Patreon people. Obviously, we've got to redo the texture on some of these other things because I've just applied it like a blank thing to everything. Um, and so it's not it's not too bad. I really like it. But if we go into rendered food, mwah, Los Puntos Studios, welcome. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm very chuffed in this material. Um, once I go ahead and apply all the modifiers and all that, it should look a little, oh, I forgot to do that. Let's jump over into shading. Um, let's just make sure our normal vector is correct. Yep. That's fine. Strength is one. So it is quite nice. I like it. Now, <laughs> Alto, welcome. The annoying thing was, is that we spent so much time in making panels that kind of like sit over the top. Which are like kind of not needed now. Which is somewhat annoying because that texture is doing such a good job. Um, but I think I think I might keep them regardless. Yeah, let's bring... I'm just playing around with this shader. Radius, edge detection. Here we go. Let's go 0.1. That's not bad. That's actually, oh yeah. Okay. But anyway, let's continue on. God, oh my goodness, you're here, buddy. Welcome. All right, so let's continue on. Actually, I might keep those. Let's go sci-fi man. The question is, is what I do want to work on the interior now. Maybe, uh, do I dare do it on live stream? Do we try and rig? Do we try and rig this? Oh, I don't think so. Not live stream. Um, but we will go ahead and try and make this character, this like cockpit area here. So she is standing above the floor, which is fine. So let's go ahead and just kind of start giving a floor. Where's your feet, sunshine? There we go. Control R, let's put an edge loop through there. Delete vertices. Straight into the modifiers mirror modifier G to the X so this is going to be our floor area and so what I'm thinking is that we have a kind of step here and so it is very much separate to, to the um, to the actual cockpit area Chris welcome truly the coolest sounding voice I, <laughs> I hope so I hope so hopefully I sound better than pricey Sorry, Pricey, if you're watching, but fat chance you're watching. <laughs> I am talking about the Blender Guru. Another fellow, was he? Uh, I got Paul Kageki, who's another one. And Chris Bailey as well. Just some other Blender YouTubers. Australian YouTubers. Annie! Hey! How are you doing, Sunshine? Welcome. So, let's go ahead and probably just create some sort of... Um, cockpit style so for instance let's grab this shift d p separate by selection we'll grab this and let's go g to the y now i am thinking of a felicia welcome i am thinking a kind of uh serenity style cockpit so it's not going to be a mirrored cockpit so it's not going to be two seats there's just going to be the one seat where we could probably have plebs standing there if need be all right, so let's go control LG to the Z. Um, we might actually move the origin point to be in line with that. So shift S, cursor to selected. Shift S, cursor to selected. Shift S, selection to cursor. There we go. So now our mirror point is in here and then we can do kind of like a wraparound. Josh, welcome. <laughs> uh, for those of you who are looking for a great discord very active discord server 
jump over to, I want to say Fire Pigeon, but I keep saying it wrong. Can you just send that through, Felicia? Um, I'm normally on there. That's where I like to hang out every once in a while. And Felicia's pretty good at teaching newbies with some crazy skills and such. Uh, let's go. So, what are we... How's this going to look? Let's go maybe... Mm, mm, let's put an edge loop through there. GG. Ooh, that turned out nice. Let's just go ahead. I'm just going to hide, hide, hide. There we go, just so we can see the insides a little bit better. H to hide. Uh, that seems to have worked out quite well, surprisingly enough. Gosh. Um, actually, I am very happy with that. However, what I'm going to do for now, because this is going to be our base, I'm just going to go delete these faces. Let's come to here and I'll throw in a solidifier modifier stuffed up there. Delete vertices. And we will increase the size there. Yes, very much so. The vine generator is amazing. The tree generator is amazing. What else do I use? The water shader. Mm. It's gorgeous. So, Dennis, welcome. Oh my. Okay, shut up. So, from here, let's go ahead. Uh, shift S cursor selected. We will go into probably a new cubish. Uh, I so funny enough, my son for his birthday had uh, the flight simulator, and the idiot that I was, I completely forgot to 3D scan scan the cockpit. So I'm just quickly having a look at did I get any good images of a cockpit? So I've cracked this one open here. Let me just go download that one. Okay, open up in a zip file, you moron. Let's have a look. And we actually going up the Oh, that's a video. So if we actually have a look, so this is a flight simulator. Um, let's see what kind of assets we could probably kind of work out what we could change. So I like these dials here. That's a nice board. It's very, it is symmetrical, but it's not symmetrical. <laughs> yes, a roller door. <laughs> um, so let's kind of grab these ideas. So let's go ahead and we'll kind of scale something along the Y. Uh, let's go G to the Z and we'll scale that up. Uh, maybe what we'll do from here is I'm going to press I to do an inset, E to extrude. And then obviously when we create two materials, I can help have a square texture and we can throw it on there. All right. Good. Um, from here, I do want to do something a little bit different. Let's go to shift D, G to the Z, G, Y. Let's select this scale to the X zero scale to the X zero. And then what I'm going to do is kind of follow that same idea. And I'm just going to go E to extrude and we'll give that a bit of a border. So because we're probably going to be doing some close ups in the cockpit. That's why I'm just doing some fancier stuff. All right, so definitely Okay, let's, let's just set up this lady. We will come into Auto Rig Pro. Quick Rig. Uh, let me just go save. Character Creator 3. Yes, please. Quick Rig. Neck Twist. Preserve Volumes. Okay. And so we're just going to quickly rig this character. <laughs> we will see. We did put some effort into having it kind of like go down. So that's something I want to rig that the door actually comes down and it becomes the ramp. Uh, roller door would work as well. Well, it's not woodwork, it's metalwork, but you know what I mean. All right, so I'm going to sit her down. Uh, you seem to be a little bit lower than that chair. That's fine. I'm not too fussed right now. Here we go. Sit like so. 
Let's bring that hand down there. Rotate to the... Your, uh, your hand's the wrong way, love. Rotate YY. There we go. She needs to be comfortable. Control C, Control Shift V. There we go. So this is kind of like what I'm expecting. So definitely that seat is way too big for her. And that desk is completely off, which is fine. So what we'll do is we'll go into object mode, select both of these. G to the Y. And we'll just move her in a bit. With this chair, we'll bring it up. There we go. I do like the chair being oversized. I kind of like that. I think that works out well. Uh, your feet, sunshine, won't be like that. Be like any gamer. And move those feet forward. Probably even whatevs. And we know that your back's not going to be like that. It's going to be mine. Terrible. But now we have that. Control C. Control Shift V. So what it will do is it controls the current the position of the bone. Control Shift V will paste the mirrored bone. So for instance, left, left, we'll copy it onto the right. All right, so this is what we kind of got. Um, so I think then a dashboard should be maybe smaller, which is fine, I'm cool with that. But not too much smaller. So we can see that very much tucked in no controls though. There's not enough room for controls. Okay, so that's fine. Let's go put a rotation in there. GG. Something like that. Maybe we'll grab that edge scale on the Y zero. Um, I think this is now too far. So we'll select these. Delete vertices. Scale. Ooh. Ooh. That's not bad. Let's go GG. Let's grab this G, Y, something like that. Um, this doesn't really work for me, but we'll go GG, just to kind of square it off. I do like that console. How do you see out the window? Pretty good visibility by the looks of it. So I think this screen now might be a little bit too big. Send your roller door, link in the Discord. Beautiful. Let's jump over into here. Da, da, da. Thank you, because I don't have it in handy. So jump over to this Discord. That's where I like to chill out every once in a while. Whoops. All right, so from here, let's kind of... I say we do something like that. But I mean, at the end of the day, I don't know. We could probably do something a little bit fancier. Question is, do we need to do something fancier? Do we create a kind of uh, texture map that projects onto the glass? That might be an idea. So we can kind of like a, have an animated um, heads up display and then just here we'll just have some random little things oops so something like that actually we'll delete that select that let's go mirror modifier mirror and then we'll mirror the desk and then what we can do is we can put a whole bunch of buttons through there oh gosh you got a thing of course you do Base X controls. Let's have a look. All right, let's do a quick Google search. All right, let's jump over into here. Let me close that window. Control V. Sp images. What do we got? Yeah. See, that's kind of cool. I do like that idea. Still some knobs and such down here. Shut up. Um, but even that's pretty cool. Yeah, maybe maybe some giant touch screens. Maybe dual touchscreen? Because obviously, definitely, we're going to have to have some sort of controller in here. And so this is kind of like... This is this is the problem we're having at the moment. Not really a problem. Scale X times 2. 
And then maybe what we'll do is let's duplicate that, delete the mirror, shift S cursor to selected, shift the uh, selection to cursor. And then we might just dump that in here. Something like that. G, Y, Y, whoops, X, X, Z, Z. Move it up. G, Y, Z, Z, bring that down, scale it down. Maybe something like that. And then, yeah, that'll just make life easier. Just um, kind of like just animating them. So she gets a... <laughs> uh, do you use the golden ratio? Eh, sometimes. Sometimes. But mainly what this is going to be is for animating. So if I go Alt H. Hey, get out of here. See, I think this is too big. I reckon we need to raise everything. So let's grab everything and you. Let's go GZ. I'm going to bring you up. Let's go our floor GZ and bring you up to about near. Let's go like this. And then that'll kind of give us a very nice view. Um, what we might do as well, let's just continue with the blocking. Shift D Z. And we're going to have something like this. Let's grab that. E to extrude. Maybe here. And E to extrude to about there, I'd say. How's that looking? Yeah. Oh, actually. No, because when they stand up, they're going to bang their heads. It's fine. We can bring that up. And I think that's that's probably a good view. Let's go control list. Let's save that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Because that's all the old pieces, which we are no longer interested in. And so if we kind of go into rendered view. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. Obviously, the chair's got the sci-fi panels on it. That's fine. Uh, let's just quickly throw the sci-fi panel on that one. I think obviously we'll redo the whole interior. That one. And let's just go you, smart UV project. No, it's not what I wanted, but anyway. But that's got like a really nice view of everything. So even when they're coming in for docking, blah, blah, blah. She'll be right, mate. All right. So from here, shift, shift S. Curse word origin, let's go ahead and throw in the light. The light, the Lloyd. And we'll go into an area, G to the Z, GY, put that in there. Something like that. What's the brightness of these lights? 100 watt, fine, we'll make you 100 watt. I think it might be a little bit too strong, but it illuminates that whole area. Nice. I'm fairly chuffed with how that looks out. I'm going to dip. Thanks, Felicia. For the chair to slide back. Yep. That's what I'm thinking as well. That is what I'm thinking. Because that'll just tie it up. We'll make this base square as well. Um, how are we going to attach the desk? I don't know. How are we going to attach controls? I don't know. Okay, so from here, let's go Shift S, cursor to selected. Mm, maybe I might just work off this. I'm going to assume that we've got clipping on. Shift D to the Y. Let's put an edge loop through there. Delete these vertices. G to the Z. So we have that. Control L, scale Y, zero. E to extrude. Uh, maybe we'll go P, separate by selection. Nope. Ah, you donkey. There we go. E to extrude. Control L, P, separate by selection. And then we've got this piece. Let's remove the subdivision. And then we can go G, Y. Um, I am going to put it above ground for now. And that's just because I'm lazy. <laughs> um, 
Maybe what we will do, let's grab that G to the X. Let's kind of go like that. We'll put an edge loop through here, through here. Let's grab this edge, GZ. And then what we might do is just go E, Y. Whoa, that's not gonna work because of the subdivision. Ah, you suck. Anyway, super thanks for the stream, inspired me to draw something that's awesome. This is great. Love to see it. I'm trying to get my uh, eldest to start getting into drawing because I need a concept artist. <laughs> That's the only reason. <laughs> no, I lie. Not really. I actually kind of want him to learn <laughs> concept art. So there we go. So now we go. We've got rails where the chair can slide back on. How we're gonna be looking at this? Um, what we could do, shift S cursor to selected, if I were to come in and add in maybe a cube, I'm just winging this now, and we go something along the lines of that, and then we can go G X, does that go straight into the window, that does look a little bit weird. So maybe we'll try doing this. Let's go into edge loop, G to the Z. There we go. That's not bad. I'm okay with that. I think I'm okay. I'm happy. I think that works out well. Definitely like these touch screens. Uh, what we might do. Ooh, control numpad. Hang on. How's this going to work? Let's grab this edge and this edge. I'm just going to scale it a bit more. And we'll do the same for here. Let's grab that edge and that edge. Scale on the X. Beautiful. Uh, once they and get images straight from the mind. Okay. <laughs> Look, you gotta get inspiration from other things. <laughs> so I came across I came across an AI that draws stuff for you, just input. No, I did a little no. I just can't remember what it's called. I really do wish because I could use that inspiration right now. Uh, we'll probably put some manual physical buttons over here and some dials and such. And I think that'll go well. We do need to make some sort of controller. I don't really want it to be. Does the dude in Star Trek have it? You could just stuff it. Screw the controller. Uh, let's go ahead on this one. We'll throw in a bevel. A little bit too extreme. Let's go 0 0.02. 0 0.05. Nice. Definitely once these buttons come in, that'll look good. Uh, what we could do as well to add a little bit of pizzazzle. Shift S, curse word, or Shift S, curse word, origin. Let's go into Zibezia Kiev. Gone, ball. Sorry, Marco, got to run on the groceries. I completely understand. It is 11 o'clock at night for me, so. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming past. Uh, and I'm hoping to have this ship ready soon and it'll be on the Patreon. So from here, let's come up into there. Let's go ahead and work out what can we do. I am going to throw a mirror modifier on. Let's go G to the Z. Let's give it some geometry just so we can see it a little bit better. There we go. All right, there you are. And let's go G. I'm just going to scale that down. E to, ex e to extrude. Rotate 45 to the minus. Something like that. E to extrude. E to extrude. Rotate scale y zero 
Hey, stop being a jerk. GX. GY, bring that down a little bit. And then if we go E to extrude, no clipping, buddy, clip that. All right, so we got some pipage to add some decoration, GZ. Bring it down like so. Bring it to there. It's almost like cableage, cableage, cableage. Let's, let's use that as a word. G to the X, bring it all the way over. Don't be a jerk. There we go. Um, I think that looks kind of nice. Let's go ahead and add a little bit more decoration to this. So what we might grab is mm, this piece, scale, GY. Just gonna move that off to the side. Scale, Y, zero. And so what I kind of want to do is a brace that goes around the cockpit. So from here, E to extrude to about here-ish. And then what we're going to do is going to grab these two pieces, G to the Z, something like that. E to extrude along the X. You did not clip. Can you clip please? There we go. Thank you. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead, put an edge loop through there, scale X zero, control B to do a bevel. And then we can go something like that. I think that looks kind of cool. Control L, G, Y. Noise. Noise. Um, might be a good idea. Maybe we put some control, some sort of control panel here as well. But overall, that is nice. I do like the sleek design that we have in here. Um, we could probably put some other elements through into here. So let's go ahead. Let's create something. Oh, jeez. Thank you very much. Appreciate that very much, Alessandro. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Very much appreciated. Uh, funnily enough, I do have a uh, Extreme PBR combo t-shirt. <laughs> uh, so Andre sent it over for me from Italy. Which is pretty cool. Uh, and for those of you who don't know what Extreme PBR combo is, let's just go control S save. Massive library of materials. So amazing um i will be doing a video tutorial on using these kind of materials to bake out objects to bring into unreal engine and omniverse i actually am doing a bit of work with omniverse now um the next animated short will definitely be in there again i'm having a problem with iclone live link to unreal engine where I can bake out the animation, but the transformation doesn't bake out. So the person is just kind of like running around in a spot. And so that is super frustrating. I don't know how to do that. Um, and that's what I was doing before the stream, trying to get that working. So hopefully I can get that working. If I can, oh my goodness. P separate by selection. Let's just go GZ1 for now. Uh, if I can get that working, yeah, I'll be so chuffed. All right, let's come back into here. Hey. And blop. Control B to do bevel. Control I, delete edges. No, let's undo that. Control B, nice and light. Control I, delete edges. E to extrude. But I will make it go G. Maybe something like that. Uh, scale on the X a little bit, G to the Z. Stop being a jerk. No, G. Oh yeah, how about select something. And so this can be kind of like a, some sort of fan unit. A little bit more, mate. 
Yeah, beautiful. Mr. Emerger, welcome. Always a pleasure to see you here, buddy. Let's grab that. I want to grab that face. Scale Z, zero G to the Z. And we'll bring that down. Nice! Is this model for a PC game? Absolutely not. No way, Jose. I have thought about making a game... A uh, sci-fi flight game? No. No. I've got plans for something else. Uh, currently doing research on a game idea. Um, and I will have a good friend of mine get stuffed working with me on that. So I, I am actually planning on building a game. In Unreal Engine, I am thinking five, but I'll probably go four. Thank you, Royal Gamers. I'm... I'm glad. I try my best to do stuff. Um, is it always the best stuff? I don't know. Not really. But we get there. I think just I need to have that creativity fueled. And so that's why I do this stuff. It's grouse. Love it. Ooh, that's a nice... So now this justifies this pipe in here. What I might do... No, I won't do that. But I think that works out well. I do want to use Unreal Engine 5. Uh, I know <laughs> the computer's a little bit out in pain, I'm, and I'm rocking a 3080. But, um, yeah, we'll get there eventually. All right, with this heater, I'm just going to... Let's go grab this edge here. Shift D, X, P, separate by selection. I'm just going to grab that. Select it. Hey, select it. E to extrude along the X. Let's go ahead. G to the X. E. I'm going to kind of follow that trajectory. GG. Something like that. E Y. Okay. That did not work, which is fine. Alt S. Nope. Stuff you. G X. Let's bring it up like that. G Y. Suck it in like that. Let's grab everything E to extrude along the Z axis. And then we've got this piece. Let's grab the bottom section of this. GZ. Nice. So that semi works. What I might do is just put an edge loop through here. And we'll go uh, delete the back side of this piece. Staffed. No. No. Do the chopper. Let's get that and that one. Delete faces. Let's go grab this. Um, e to extrude Alt S. And then we've got that. Oh yeah. And that covers up that hole. Lovely. Um, I'm a long time hobbyist 3DS Max. Blender actually scrambles my brain. I, look, not gonna lie. Never t touched my... Actually, I did touch Max, opened it, and went, Matt, stuff this. <laughs> but uh, that was many, many moons ago. Um, only now, recently, I've started exploring other applications. So that's why you will see videos on Omniverse and... Uh, what else? Omniverse. Unreal Engine. Even I'm touched Unity. I'm touching Unity. It is disgusting. <laughs> I hate Unity. Unity sucks. But I need to do it, unfortunately. Stupid Unity. Lucky it's got blueprints. Because uh, if it didn't, I would be stuffed. Okay, I like how this is looking. I reckon maybe what we'll do is let's grab this piece here. I'm just going to go scale, turn off clipping. Let's go like that. I just kind of want to go GZ E to extrude. And I'm just going to add in an extra plate that goes through there. Why? So it's kind of like as if this is going to be bolted. And then we'll probably put in some bolts through there. But I think that looks nice. Let's go delete face. Might as well just clean up that back face. Yeah, nice. Nice. Uh, let's go delete face and let's grab that face there. Delete faces. 
All right. I mean, we've only done a smidgen here, but it seems to work quite well, and I'm fairly happy with what we've got at the moment. But let's keep going. Shift D to the Z. Uh, P, separate by selection. Let's go Control A, apply location. And then what we can is we'll put that in there. Mirror modifier, clipping G to the X. And so what we're going to be doing here is creating a light. So we'll go G, Y, something like that. Uh, G to the Z. Shh, I'm tired. It's getting late. All right. However, tomorrow's a public holiday, so sick. Let's see how much we can get done. G, Y, there we go. Uh, let's go, hmm, let's go something like that, E to extrude, no, E to extrude, there we go, select them two, face, edge loop, and then we can go F, F, uh, scale Z zero, scale Z zero, beautiful, and then from here what we can do is do I to do an inset, E to do an extrude, Let's come in here, plus plus, we will do light, front light, Ugh, that might be a bit too bright. Let's have a look, what do we got? Control S is what we've got. Not too shabby. Oh, we've got that, we've got that panel there as well. That's not too bad, like I think it works well. I think we've got a nice big view of the ship now the point of this ship, it is a transport ship. So I'm not gonna be putting in massive guns or anything. Um, obviously we'll redo the texture in here. Doesn't look too bad though. But this cockpit area I reckon looks nice. I think we definitely need to have some sort of gadget display or something on the inside here. I mean, we could even put a roller door. Ah. Uh... And you talked about 3D printing. That said, guess we received... Oh, well, th this is... This is the latest thing I 3D printed was a mold. Okay. So, what they intend... Uh, one of my friends intends on doing is... Um, filling these holes with the stuff. But then I made a cap. So, once it's hardened, they can just simply push them out. And then reuse it. So this is just a test one. But if this, if their idea works, I might do, you know, like a 40 by 40. And then they can just smash these things out. So, but yeah, 3D printing. Oh yeah, sick. Love it. Also, other stuff that I've made, which I don't know where the file is. But actually, what you can do is make a gingerbread house cookie cutter. So I designed this stamp. And when you get the gingerbread, stamp it in and you've got the four walls, the roofs, the doorway all cut out with one stamp. Thank you, Dennis. Welcome, buddy. Mm. Hang on, what have I missed? Ah, yes. Cheers, mate. Welcome. I would jump on Patreon, though. That's... I, I recommend Patreon, though, because there's a whole bunch of 3d assets message me on discord and i'll send you a whole bunch of stuff so uh anyway i'll show you that later but this is looking nice i'm really a fan definitely i reckon we could probably put some more pipage in here so maybe what we might do is go shift d duplicate and we'll put it up in there started with a lock oh nice Put extra spacesuit. Ooh. That's an idea. But I'm going for like the, the Star Wars way of nobody's got spacesuits. Well, not that I know of. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's start with a... And we'll go back into solid mode. I'm... Yeah, but I'm still trying to work out what the uh the storyline is obviously i know that it's going to be something around trading 
That's as far as I know. Um, but I'm kind of hoping that as I model around, ideas will come to me. I have thought about scenes, you know, parked in a spaceport. Uh, rotate. And then we've got kind of like a chap standing here with carrying boxes. And then like having this argument over, you know, lack of payment. But it's kind of, it'll be cool to have it in this space with already contents in there. Um, the one big thing I'm trying to work out in Unreal Engine is how to shoot. So, sorry, in terms of the level sequencer, if someone's holding a gun, how are they going to be shooting and bullets coming out, so on and so forth? Because it'd be awesome to have like an emission shader and just crud flying around. Mm. Uh, you're the first person whom I become sponsored. <laughs> Thank you, good sir. Hopefully. I... Mm. If I can, I would cancel it and go, say go Patreon. So many free assets. I don't know how to do that. I will try and work that out later. Nah. <laughs> um, but yes, hit me up on Discord. I will... I love to chat. Okay. Where am I? Ah, uh, here. So that was kind of like the idea that I've had... Um for a short I'm gonna go something like here let's go shift s cursor to selected then we're gonna go into a UV sphere scale and so I'm gonna make some sort of tank now so if I go in through here is that the middle oh, look the middle that is the middle what I can do now is I'm gonna press V to rip control L G Z to bring that down uh, let's see if I can do this. F. Yep, that looks better. Right? F. Beautiful. Scale. GZ. Uh, maybe what we might do is make it even longer. And then, obviously, we are going to texture slap the heck out of this. Once we're in a good spot. So let's go GY. Shift D to the Z. Shift D, Y, and then we've kind of got, no, actually, don't do that. Let's grab an edge loop, Control B to do a bevel. And then we're gonna grab, let's grab this section, this section, E to it screwed, scale, Shift Z. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just yelling out keys that I'm doing. All right, and now we've kind of got these two, oh, smooth. And then we come over into auto smooth. There we go. Look at that. Now, what we could probably do from here, let's grab the tip. Shift S cursor. Shift S cursor to select it. Let's go into a curve. Bazil. Uh, I'm going to go delete vertices. Shift S selection to cursor. E to extrude along the Z. Makula? Uh, How can I... Alt S? Darn it. Alright, undo, 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 undo. Fine, suck a lemon. Okay, let's try and get that back into this position. Rotate 90, scale. E to extrude. Easy. Shift Z or Alt E. Alt E. Shift Z. Whoa! <laughs> what the? Shift. Shift Z. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. It's all right. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. G said, let's go G and then we're going to go something like that. Uh, let's go G. Actually, nope. I'm going to go something like so. E to extrude all the way down. Where is the end of this thing? Yeah, there it is. 
and then we're gonna go something like that. I'm gonna go E to extrude, rotate 90, and so we're just creating some awesome pipage. Y. And then we'll do another E to extrude, rotate 90. There we go. Oh yeah. E Z through to there. Alright. Ah stuff, you go into the ground. Beautiful. So from here, let's go ahead and give it some extra geometry. That's a little bit too big. Let's go GZ, make sure that that's sitting all the way in. Uh, from here, let's select this. Shift D to the Y, I'm just gonna move it over. And then what we're gonna do is des nope. deselect these. G to the Z, something like that. G, Y, go something like that. I think that looks grouse for those people from Melbourne. Make you feel at home. That doesn't look grouse. Why? Uh, something like that. Oh, <laughs> no water. Wow. Okay, I'm fairly chuffed with how that looks. Um, big plus. Be aligned with anything. <laughs> Extruding. What? Oh, E, nothing happens. Yeah, no. Oh, E's not working. I, yeah, not sure. Maybe my controls are funky for some odd reason. Okay, so from here, let's go into a cube. Okay, and then let's make this kind of like a uh, compressor of sorts. Or like a filter, maybe like an air filter. Because obviously if you're in the cockpit, that's where you want your main filter to be. So we're going to go G to the X, something like so. G to the X. Let's put a face in there. I, E, U, U, A, Wada, Wada, Bing, Bang. And then I think we might get some sort of like radiator texture onto there. I think that would look suave. Um, and let's go ahead, edge loop, control B. Let's go E to extrude. E to extrude, scale on the Y. There we go, something like that. Then what we could actually do, do something a little bit fancy. Shift E on the Z, scale. Scale on the Y, scale on the X, E, E, uh, that to that, let's grab these, oops, let's grab these, these, G, Z, control L, G, Z, we'll bring that back up, there we go, just adding these extra little bits, it's almost like cooling fins. Yeah, nice. Let's put a bevel on that puppy. And then it would be like 0 0.001. That's not too bad. 0 0.01. Even better. Control A, apply the scale. Then it goes back to normal. 0 0.002. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. What was the operation you've done on the tanks? Ah! Oh. What? Oops. Oh, E. Oh! Spin. <gasps> oh, my. What? Oh, my. Hang on. Interesting. I did not... Okay. I will have to play with that some more. I do like this whole set here. Thank you, Mr. Emerger. More key, short key, short 
shortcut keys that I now have to learn. <laughs> and we're just going to go E scale on the Y. So it's almost we could even have that as a sitting platform. That seems to be coming along rather nicely. Let's just go into this mode. Um, let's go ahead. I'm just going to throw on a... Mat Ooh, do I... Do I throw on metal? Metal, metal, metal. Okay, let's go metal. I need something a little bit... A little bit haggly. This metal would look nice. Let's go add new on that one. It's going to happen. Tab, U, cubic projection. All right, metal 21. Metal, metal 21. And you as well, your metal 21. Not the keenest on that one. It's a little bit too rusty for my liking. What about that one? And we will update. And not that one. What about this one? Mm, too... Too kind of wibbly wobbly. But I think if I went into UV editing, select and scale it up a little bit. Shift S. It's not bad, but it's not what I'm after. Did I do this one? 21, I've already done. Oh my goodness. Might just have to come back to it all. Let's go refresh on that one. Nah, definitely too shiny. Let's have a look what's in metal two. Ooh. It's not bad. Uh, 21? No, battered. Battered. It's got to be a battered some chains. There we go. I think that'll work. And then if we kind of just come in here, let's select all this. And we'll go copy material to selected. Select these two. U, cubic projection. Uh, that one as well. U, cubic projection. And U will be battered material as well. I am considering that these pieces here will be battered as well. A sign. I don't think that's the right material. Um, but I think it would work for now. I think all of these would be battered as well. And that just changes the color. This thing here would be battered as well. But yeah, I think definitely probably not the right material, but that's fine. Other material. <laughs> I don't know what else. What's this? Galvanized steel. Go on. Replace all. Oh, I thought it would update it all. Oh, that's annoying. All right, let's grab this. Whoops. Okay, let's try it. Galv. Galv. Come on, Gav. What about you? Galvanized steel. We can do that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Whoops, 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 whoops. Too much. That one. The pipes. Select that one there. Copy material to selected. Hmm. It's not the one that I'm after. I think this one here should be definitely a darker color. I saw one previously on this metal. And we'll go... Something like that. Yeah, definitely not the Galv one. Future Marco problem. But that is looking schmick. Sick soof. So we're not going to go with controls, which I'm happy with. But does that cockpit look okay? I think so. 
I think it works well. I think it gets the job done. Let's go into solid mode. Um, I am going to keep these. We'll probably start building up some more plates through here and up into this place here. So let's go ahead and grab that. Let's just go shift, oops, shift D to the Z. E to extrude along the Z axis. Let's go G to the X. Uh, shift D, X, E, ooh, ooh, ah, water, water, bing, bang, ooh, ah. Mm, I don't like the look of that. Do I like the look of that? I don't really. Let's go ahead, delete those vertices, G to the Z, bring that down. Now it looks like a bus. Um, shift D, E, Z. Let's put an edge loop through here. G, X, I, whoops, E, X. I think the problem is... I reckon, I reckon, if I were to go like this, GZ, E to extrude, about there, and Z, down. Uh, let's make sure on the modifiers we've got preserve even thickness. There we go. That seems a little bit better, but it does look like a truck. <laughs> like just here, this looks like a truck. Um, we've got to redo these lines as well. A girl, the pilot, and obviously not a fan of black. <laughs> yeah. The funny thing is, as well, is I applied a clay material to her all. So she's now clay. She looks like um, the angels from Doctor Who. Angels? Is that what they're called? I don't know. I don't watch Doctor Who. I have seen a few episodes in my time. Uh, I was a fan of watching the Matthew one. Matthew? I think that's his name. Um, but no, I just haven't had... It's not my cup of noodles, as they would say. Nobody says that. That's just me. Um, let's put an edge loop through here. Control B. Control B. Just accept it. Shift T. Uh, e to extrude on the z-axis yeah something like that oops uh, let's go like that gz all right I think that is quite nice I really do like that touch where it kind of gets a little bit more involved I think one thing that we're going to probably do is just go through and attach a whole bunch of bolts. Maybe she's golf. <laughs> um, we'll probably go through and start attaching some bolts. I am semi tempted. Let's let's just spend five minutes doing it. Shift S. Let's go cylinder. I'm going to go six. We're going to go scale G Z just something like that. From here, we're going to go into, um, to face. So if I were to go G and hold control, there we go. Ah, you suck. Rotate X. Rotate. I want rotate. Align rotation to target. There we go. Hold control. All right. Let's, um, I'm going to create a new folder for this guy. M group bolts. And beautiful. So now when I go shift D, hold control, shift D, Z, something like that. And you can kind of see how we're going to be going through. And I'm just going to do it to a few pieces, not to everything at the moment. This is more of an idea. But the idea is 
that we kind of make it look semi cool. Oh, wait. Hey, whoa, 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 what are you doing? I lost the bolt. There it is. What are you doing there, mate? Uh, about there? Okay. Through there. And so what we'll probably end up doing is the material for this would definitely be a galvanized material. Galvanized? Gavin? It would be a Gavin material. <laughs> yes I think that is gonna look whoa, 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 whoa I think that is gonna look schmick so now I'm gonna grab most of these except for one can you not be a jerk please up there control J to join and then we're gonna throw a mirror modifier on it um, we got to make sure that this is the mirror. Let's go ahead and throw a metal, metal galvanized, galvan. And let's have a look what that looks like. What I Marco in a spot where there's no light, you donkey sun. Cause I don't know where my sun is. Right. not very noticeable however this looks not too bad uh, I've got a feeling if I go shift N why are you being a jerkosaurus mm. that's not making me happy shift N well we can work that out later uh oh Come on, over here. Do we need to make these bolts bigger? Is that what I'm telling myself? I mean, it does look cool though. This front section looks nice. Let's go select all, Alt S. Alt S. Which way are we going? This way. Let's let's just make them bigger. And maybe we'll be a little bit more careful on placement. But that there looks pretty schmick. We see them up here. I think that's nice. Ooh, that texture. Yeah, kinda. I think this works out well here because these haven't been UV unwrapped yet. If I go U cubic projection, it's not bad. It does. I look. I think it looks good. But I mean, there's this bolt business. I think that's a future Marco problem. That's me when I don't know what to do. I'm just going to make something. Um, over here, this is interesting. Clipping. Do we have some internal faces here? G, X. Nope. Okay. Shut up. Stop. Go away. Hmm. I wonder what that's about. I think that's just the mirroring of the texture. I think what we can do to maybe over, um, overcome, overcome the repeating texture is let's go like this and I'm going to grab that there, G to the Z, P separate by selection. Wow. Um, let's go into solid mode. Stop pressing to you daft idiot. Um, scale on the y-axis, gy, 
scale on the Y, G, X, like this, E to extrude, delete face. Let's go into auto smooth. Oh, maybe that's what that is, auto smooth. And then we will grab that, and make sure it goes up the back wall as well. Oops. No, stop it. Thank you. Okay, where's the back wall? I think that is the back wall. GG. GG. GY. Uh, we can go E to extrude up. And then technically, if we come over into this one, we can go Gavinized. Good old Gavin. <laughs> I hope that you guys, next time you see Galvanized Steel, that you think of Gavin. Control A, oh, Control A. Let's now go U, Cubic Projection. And then if we go into Rendered View, we should see that now we've broken up that mirror modifier with this kind of piece in here. Definitely what I wouldn't mind doing is maybe putting like a great piece through there. <laughs> So, let's clear that. All right, I'm fairly chuffed with how that looks. I think that's that's looking grouse. I think we've done quite a bit in here. I think we'll probably add in some more pipes and such. Maybe we're going to add in some cupboards. Uh, definitely, we should probably add in some light panels above. I think that would be the way to go. So that'll probably be the next project. It is almost midnight. And I will probably need some sleep soon. But I'm really happy how this is going to turn out. Um, we will. I'll probably work on this throughout the week. Hopefully by next Saturday. What's the date? Will be the 19th. Far, I got so much work. Okay, here, let me show you something that I've been working on as well. Let's open up Unreal Engine. Um, let's bring that down to solid mode. Control S will save on that. Sleep, I know. Uh, so, <laughs> last night was the first time I went to sleep before 1.30 a.m. And I've got two kids as well, so I wake up normally 6, 6.30. Yeah, Marco, Marco tired. Uh, so I'm just going to open up the Unreal project that I'm working on. Uh, let's go into library and it'll be this one. So my problem is, is I don't know why. Uh, soldier, let's open up this one as well. Hopefully Blender, I mean, Unreal Engine and iClone don't throw a wibbly wobbly. I am feeling dehydrated. Too much talking, not enough water. All right. So my problem at the moment is, is if we come into the sequencer, there we go, open that one, mm, details, open live sequencer. So press play, oops, no, wrong one, exit. Uh, space, yep, that's fine. So if I've got this character selected, track, add to sequencer, brute, let's just no, shut up. Hang on. I'm just waiting for iClone to load up. And we'll minimize iClone. Uh, if we come into animation, we've got... Ooh, this one? Yeah, so my problem is, is that there is an animation that I recorded, but he's not doing what I need him to do. Uh, so yeah, slightly, slightly, slightly annoying. Uh, because, so if I go into here... We select on this character. Let's go into Live Link, iClone. Yes, okay. Click on that. Uh, for now, let's delete him from the sequencer. Let's jump into iClone. Unreal Live Link, Link, Activate Link. Please work. Oh, how do I do this? 
I'm trying to remember how to do all this jazz so I know for next time. That is the character. You are the br Oh, wait. No, go into there. Let's delete, add source. Ah, you suck, donkeys. Oh, wait, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try again. Sorry, doing this on the fly. Let's throw this chap in. You are receiving. Oops. And so this was me doing mocap one night. <laughs> why? Why? Why are you being a jerkosaurus? No, you're meant to go into there, you donkey. Stop. Source. iClone. Move. <sighs> I had it working before. Oh, hang on. No, I did this before. Go away. Into here. Blue prints. It's picking it up. You're joking me. I have to have iClone open as my primary window for it to play. Oh my goodness, that's the problem. I just... Oh. <laughs> a day and a half it took me to work that out. So if I've got Unreal Engine open as the primary window, nothing happens. If I've got iClone open as the main window, he animates. <laughs> far out anyway so the problem is is I can record so if I go back to the start and then we go into the take recorder so add actor add triple C uh, 60 frames a second mate not now I don't know where to go record the, 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 so if I go, let's go record. Let's, let's just do it. And then I'm going to press play. And the chap's moving around. That's fine. So he's actually moving around. Okay, that's enough. So we'll stop it. Stop. And then if I pick this chap, go track. Add CC Lamera animation animation six. Uh, let's go live link. Let's delete the live link. Why? Why, you fat mole? <laughs> let's, uh, let's, 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 let's get rid of this guy. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Out. And then if we come into... Cinematics takes. That one. Soldier. Five, four, six. Animation. And we throw this guy in now. And then if we go sequence, I don't want to add sequence, blah, 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 that guy. Oh, come on! Oh, no. Animation, oh yeah, let's throw that in. Anyway, this is, see, so he's not moving. I don't know why! But, I think... Did I... I just deleted the context window. Far out, you donkey! Uh, let's go cinematics. Content browser, content browser 1. But then if we come into here, and then we throw that in... Throw that in? Open level sequencer. I 
don't know. Like, can we have multiple sequences going at the same time? I don't know. And why is it at frame... F f thousand... 5.1 million. Can I change this frame? Yeah, I want to move it back. Can I move this back? No, move it back to zero. I don't know! I don't understand! So anyway, that's my fun. <laughs> Once I work this out, there will be a tutorial. Once I work it out. And don't cry. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with that. So hopefully, I know... Probably Wednesday's tutorial will be importing characters into Character Creator 4, doing the jazz, and then being able to export to Unreal Engine 5. So I do have a Stormtrooper. So if we go into here, we'll jump into my backend stuff. YouTube Studio. Uh, if we go into content. And so this is a tutorial that we coming out Wednesday, so shut up. And so we've got a Stormtrooper here in Blender and we get him to Character Creator 4. So subscribe if you want to see that one. Um, let's leave it there for now. <sighs> Until next time, Dennis, make sure you hit me up on Discord, please. Beautiful. I will talk to you guys next time. Thank you very much. Bye.